think many people think that art is separate from politics or from everyday events. And while that view has changed dramatically in recent decades, I think one of the things that 9-11 did was break that. In terms of how it changed my field otherwise, I would say that there's, I, I like to think of an arc of, let's say, five-year period, 10-year period, and now we're gonna be, it's gonna be the 15th anniversary. In the first five years, it was incredibly, many of us were doing work about 9-11 as artists, but it was incredibly hard to get it shown if it wasn't uh, a very simplistic, sentimental, and nationalistic uh, representation. So this maddening experience uh, gave me the idea and was basically to rebuild the towers identically in different cities around the world. Here we're seeing World Trade Center Gaza City. There is World Trade Center Guantanamo. There is the World Trade Center in Paris. Here is Kabul. Whether the towers themselves were icons for artists or not, I think is up for debate. From what I remember and also my conversations with people from previous generations, because I lived in New York for nine years and I was there when, the, when they were attacked, um, the towers were considered to be incredibly ugly by most people in the art world. That narrative has been pretty much erased from our memory because of the tragedy. Even some of the most outspoken critics of the towers after the attacks would not voice those criticisms anymore. The response of artists after the attacks, I think, has been to see them as much more complex icons than they would have seen them when they were standing.